Hey, it's uh, John Reed, JDOD.com, uh, developer stories, video shoot, and VJ VJ Sanker with me. That's me. And uh, time for true confessions. You really are a developer at heart, just admit it. I am a 100% developer. Not only at heart, I actually do development. Although my team doesn't always appreciate it, I still do development. So you're in charge of some innovation projects, and we want to talk about a cash management situation where basically you had customers dealing with a problem. What was the problem? So a problem came up in our annual CFO study that CFOs are mainly concerned about working capital management, which is their short-term ability to pay off debt. And that working capital essentially is primarily made of inventory, AP and AR, accounts payable and accounts receivable. And the solution here is to be able to identify which customer has what AR situation, which product has what, what inventory situation, which vendor has what uh, payable situation so that you can maximize the cash that you have because cash is king. Mm. So how did you do that as far as making it more possible for them to view those? So the difficulty today is um, in an average uh, quarterly business review, analysts working for these CFOs and controllers will bring in tons of spreadsheets usually with their PCs tagging along and do what if analysis on the fly. So he'll say that, okay, there is this customer X who is my top three customer. I have this AR situation with him. I don't want to bug the customer too much since I don't have all the data. So when I go to the customer, can I take this position? But to take this position, I need a what if analysis that if they have to pay these invoices in this time, I can give them so much discount, you know, those kinds of things, which are all needed in real time, but needs a ton of data crunching to make it work. So the way it usually works is the analyst will have to take homework, go back to their desk, figure it out, come back. Mm. With this solution, they can sit there and do what-if analysis and give an answer right there. And this will crunch through millions of records of goods movements and AR line items and invoices and so on and, and come back with the answer pretty much in real time. So you, you don't even see the lag. You know, when, you, when you see the video, you can, you can note that there is hardly any lag. So what about combining AR, AP, and inventory into one integrated view? Is that something that would have impact as well? And is that available? Absolutely, absolutely. The solution at the moment doesn't do that, but it is something that has immense value. It has been uh, a feedback that both Dennis Owlett as well as some CFOs that saw this have given back to me that they would like to see solution for all three problems because they are all interrelated. So they do need to see the holistic view and that's something we are working on. So the next revision will have a mobile edition for this, it's 2012 after all, and, um, and a holistic view of working capital. So one uh, issue I've heard about is that if you have really large balances in some of these accounts and some of these projections can be hard to uh, get a good view of without being distorted in some way, is that an issue? How do you address that? It, it is an issue, it's definitely an issue. and. If you do some very simplistic analysis, and a good example is averages, right? So if you have a thousand customers, and then you say that my average is my total revenue divided by a thousand, what gets distorted is the fact that probably 95% of the money is coming from 10 customers. So uh, meaningful analysis needs multiple measurements. And when you say APAR inventory and so on, these are all not standalone things that just happen by itself. They all have other KPIs that are related to it. So you need to see the, the holistic picture. So you need to be able to know how many line items am I paying on time? You know, how many times is my finished good inventory turning as opposed to my raw material inventory turning? So all these things have a relation to each other. And a lot of traditional solutions that we have had in the market so far, they address it one at a time. They don't combine these two and show the effect of uh, one on another. And that's what we were trying to solve. We haven't talked about tech at all, but this is in fact a, a HANA solution. So why, why would you need HANA for this? It is actually a HANA solution. And you're right, we didn't talk about technology. And um, it is a conscious decision on my part not to sell it as HANA. HANA is awesome uh, and does the right job. But from a CFO's point of view, CFO doesn't care about HANA. CFO cares about the value of HANA. Mm -hmm. So the CIO probably cares about HANA and the IT staff cares about HANA. So it is an important part of the conversation. But we typically sell this to a line of business uh, executive who, who doesn't make a technology purchase. He makes a business purchase. 
and that's how we do it now hana obviously is the best way to solve this because if i try to do this in a in a traditional way in a non hana fashion it will take a lot more time not in the sheer development part of it which we can probably accomplish in nearly the same time but in testing and tuning so these things go against millions of line items and it takes a lot of time to tune such a such a system it goes against very many tables and each table having so many partitions and so on so it it takes time whereas our current value proposition is you can put this up in in a quarter so if you buy this quarter in your next qbr you should be able to to run this which is um, something in the pre hana world was very difficult to pull off so the hana piece being freedom from excel uh, and and also you were showing me the screenshots and you were saying that in the past you might have to even like walk away and wait for the numbers to be crunched or this time you can sit down in real time i shouldn't even say the past right i mean i i made a living doing vw consulting at a time where if your query comes back in like you know 5 minutes or 10 minutes it is still con- considered pretty fast mm. from that to today where i can move these sliders and pick drop boxes and you know things pretty much just come on the screen i mean that change is unbelievable i mean i i didn't think i will live to see that change in the you know, in, in my career i think in the typical cfo after 5 minutes he's left the room <laughs> cfo would 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 the analyst will get just get the homework that, yeah. that's all that would happen yeah so yeah. what kind of what kind of response have you been getting on the this the response has been awesome and i presented this solution to some analysts as well as some uh, cfos you know cxos rather um, at a, at an event a couple of months ago and they were thrilled they were thrilled not because of the solution's elegance they were thrilled because of the simplicity i didn't have to do a powerpoint you know sales pitch at all in fact there was no sales pitch i gave them a a machine uh, with this on the screen and told them here it is go play with it there wasn't a single person who couldn't figure out what it was doing in like 2 minutes mm-hmm. it's data that i mean the only hang up you know which is not unusual was it's not data they were they were familiar with so not their customers or their products because it was all mocked up data but that apart everybody understood what it was doing everybody could see the value in doing it and the speed caught their attention several people asked me is it actually going against the database and mm. the more technically inclined guys wanted me to show them the database so that i was not pulling a fast one on them sure so yeah and it, I'm, i'm not right it is a it's a real system against which it is it's going absolutely so what's next is 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 mobile part of your key issue there yeah so we we do need to develop a, a mobile way of doing this because eventually the solution still needs to get into the hands of the cfo who typically these days i have seen a lot of them walking around with ipads into their their rooms um into their meeting rooms so i would like to see a day where they are less dependent on offline analytics provided by their analyst group and you know kind of become self sufficient to some extent i never expect a cfo to do all the analysis by himself you know that is not going to happen but if he doesn't have to yell at somebody all the time to get some extra information he can do it by himself or he walks into a ceo's office to discuss which is confidential and he doesn't want his staff to hear that he could just sit with uh, other executives and do it by himself so those are all things that that's the kind of feedback that i got from the guys that that saw the guys and ladies that that saw this one final thing i'm struck by is you know, this is such a different conversation about hana than you and i were having a year ago or 6 months ago or it's more about technical problems and challenges and now we're talking about business apps where the technology just does what it's supposed to do exactly and that's where sap is at its best right I that mean, is exactly yeah. where sap is at its best and i i think solutions like these you know i i, I don't claim that this is the best possible hana solution but solutions like these are what will give sap an upper hand in selling uh, selling hana yeah, it, it has a very valid use case you know speed by itself doesn't meet much this speed needs to be put in the context of a of a yes. business case that um, that's what sells